Roshi. Well, if it isn't little Gohan, you're looking fit as a fiddle. Yeah. Hey, where is everybody? Oh, yeah, yeah, uh, they're out looking for someone. Someone? Yes, Launch. She's the young woman that used to live here. No one's heard from her in quite some time now. She left here and went after Tien, but I was starting to worry she might have gotten herself mixed up in the fight against the Saiyans. So I asked Krillin and the others to go out looking for her in the area where the fight took place. But, well... Did something happen? Possibly. I just saw a young woman that looks a lot like Launch on a news report from West City. I'm waiting for Krillin and the others to get back so I can tell them to head there next. Oh, well, I can go there if you like. Really? <laughs> That'd be great! You can't miss her. She's got full-bodied curly blue hair. A real beauty. Her outfit leaves little to the imagination. I can still picture her tank top, shorts, her curves. <laughs> Just thinking about her is getting me all riled up. Ahem, what else? Oh, yes, her personality. She's a very calm, sweet person. Calm and sweet. Got it. Okay, I'm off to find her. This is really exciting! Jerking me around. P please don't do this. <laughs> hmm, let's see. Blue hair, same outfit that Master Roshi described. That's probably Launch. Looks like she's arguing with some people. You punks are messing with the wrong girl here. I said fork it over, so fork it over. You hear me? Well, it's just... What's going on? Guess I'm just gonna have to pump you rats full of lead then. Ah! Uh oh, Launch is in trouble! Stop! Huh? You're pretty tough for a pint-sized punk. You kind of sort of remind me of Goku. Huh? Wait, how do you know my dad? Huh? You're Goku's kid? What? What the hell are you doing here? These bozos stole my map, and I'm trying to get it back. What? D did you really? Um, uh, well... All right, that's it. Keep this dumb act up and BAM! You're gonna get it! Uh, I'm sorry! I guess I wasn't thinking! Wait, so you're not Launch? What? Jeez, I'm Launch! What? But I was told she has blue hair! It's complicated, kid. Now shut the hell up and give me the stupid map! Um, 
Do you think you can find it in your heart to forgive me? Screw you! Get out of here before I send you packing myself! <laughs> Bunch of no-good chumps. Whatever! At least I got my map back! <laughs> Sorry for butting in like that! Whatever. I'm over it. As long as I got this map, I could finally figure out where he lives. He? He keeps jumping all over the place for his training. I've been chasing nothing but rumors till now. Uh, oh, I see. Now this time, I'm gonna make sure he falls in love with me. Hold on tight, buddy. I'm coming for you. Oh, there she goes. I guess I better head back and let Master Roshi know what happened. Somewhere. Hmm? What are you talking about? Launch came back not too long ago. Huh? Wait, but... Oh, did someone call for me? What? Oh, you must be the boy Master Roshi's been talking about. You're Goku's son, right? It's a pleasure to meet you. My name's Launch. Y you're Launch? But the woman I met before had blonde hair. Oh, uh, that's the other me. People tell me my personality changes whenever I sneeze. And my hair turns blonde, I guess. Oh, your personality changes? Hard to believe, right? I think it might be some sort of condition I have. That might actually be the best way to describe it. Ah, I remember. That's what I forgot to tell you earlier. Sorry about that. <laughs> I really hope the other me didn't cause you too much trouble. She can be a bit harsh sometimes. <laughs> uh, no. I'm just surprised to see you here, since she said something about going to look for someone. Right. When I came to, I was near West City and I had no clue what was going on. And so I decided to come here. Uh, I see. Oh, I know. Why don't I cook something nice as a thank you for dealing with the other me? It's the least I could do. I've been wanting to try out a few recipes for a while now. Yes, I think that's a great idea. We can all eat together. Uh, okay. to head to Bulma's. It's kind of late right now. Oh, Gohan, back already? That's so. If you have time before Bulma finishes her spaceship, you might as well get some studying in. Uh, okay. After a fierce showdown with the Saiyans, the Earth was safe once again. But that safety came at a hefty price. The Dragon Balls, the only hope of bringing back those who had lost their lives. 
were gone. Thanks to what Vegeta said, however, Gohan and the others learned of more Dragon Balls on Kami's homeworld, planet Namek. After they had found Kami's old spaceship, Gohan and the others made preparations for their long, arduous trip to Namek. looking for huh what's up Bulma we're gearing up to go to Namek right I'm working on the spaceship that's gonna get us there but I'm short on parts oh bummer with Goku in the hospital practically mummified in bandages you're the only one left for the job oh no problem Bulma leave it to me that's the spirit Here's what I need. Think you can handle that? too far.
<laughs> Talk about speedy service. Does everything check out? <laughs> sure does. Great job. I'll have this spaceship up and running in no time. Thanks a bunch, Bulma. The spaceship is complete and ready for takeoff. All right, Gohan, just let me know when you're ready to launch. We won't be back on Earth anytime soon, so make sure you've got everything you need. R right! So, you all set for the trip? Okay, I'll just perform a few final checks and make my way over to Kame House. You go ahead and meet up with Krillin and the others. With their preparations for the journey to planet Nemec complete, everyone has gathered at Kame House. <laughs> What's with the hair, Gohan? My mom thought I should look more presentable. You know, when meeting an entire alien race for the first time. Ah, uh, okay. Man, your mom sure is strict. We're counting on you. Don't come back until you've found those Dragon Balls. On it. Write me every day, Gohan! All right, time for takeoff. Watch out, Planet Namek, here we come! Meanwhile, just as Bulma and the others left for Planet Namek, Vegeta, back and fully recovered from his fight on Earth, learned of his Commander Frieza's absence. Frieza was on his way to planet Nemec with his most elite subordinates in tow. He was in search of the Dragon Balls that he learned of from Vegeta and the others on Earth. His goal? To wish for immortality. Vegeta hurriedly made his way to Nemec in an effort to catch Frieza and stop him. If Frieza is able to attain immortality, the universe is history! I'm not going to let that happen. Those Dragon Balls are mine! Meanwhile, 34 days after Bulma and the others left Earth, they finally arrived at their destination, Planet Namek. We actually made it to Planet Namek! Hmm, this place kind of reminds me of where Piccolo trained me, back on Earth. No use waiting around, let's find those Dragon Balls. Oh, hey, check this out! I'm picking something up, no doubt about it, it's a Dragon Ball! 
You're right! Woohoo! <laughs> Alright! Alright! We found, we found, one. found, we one. found one! Huh? Krillin, do you feel that strong energy over there? Huh? Man, you're not kidding! It's massive and it feels crazy strong! And there's something kind of evil about it, too. Uh, what's going on? There's nothing to freak out about. Besides, look at the reading I'm getting over there. The radar's picking up four Dragon Balls all in one spot. Uh, yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's probably just some Namekians. We got nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> right? <laughs> Level, they'll know we're here. He, yeah. It's Vegeta. Looks like it's just him. I am not letting you get your filthy hands on those Dragon Balls, Frieza. Yeah. Bulma, let the others know what's going on, and then head back to Earth. We'll stay here and gather the rest of the Dragon Balls. Gohan, sound good to you? It, yeah. Uh, okay, I'll get a hold of Master Roshi and fill him in first. Once I'm back, I'll pick Goku up and bring him here. I should be back in about two months. <laughs> Right. Two months. Mm -hmm. What? Uh, another one? Hold the phone. What's another one of those things doing here? Uh, yeah, that's exactly what I want to know! We found it, Lord Frieza! Excellent work. Now only three remain out of my grasp. <laughs> Take care not to lose that, Dodoria. It seems Vegeta is looking for the Dragon Balls as well. Yes, sir! Uh, pardon me, Lord Frieza. Kui has just intercepted Vegeta. Has he? My, that was fast. In addition, uh, the two large power sources from earlier have suddenly disappeared as well. I will make my way to their location and investigate. I should be able to identify them shortly. Very well, but I'm more concerned about ridding myself of that traitor Vegeta. What a shame. I didn't think him foolish enough to turn against me, let alone attempt to steal the Dragon Balls for himself. Kui should be on his way to dispose of Vegeta. Should be interesting. Those two have long hated each other. They are roughly equal in power, I believe. So I assume it'll take a fair bit of time. You're not going anywhere, Vegeta. I'm going to enjoy blowing you to pieces. Sure to let Goku and the others know. Thanks. All right, I'm heading back to Earth now. Good luck, you two. I'll be back with Goku as fast as I can. <gasps> Krillin, someone's coming. Huh? Is it the Saiyan? No, it's not Vegeta. It's someone weaker. Probably a Namekian. It should be right around here. Huh? Look, what the hell is that? What? Oh, those aren't Namekians! They don't look like Namekians! Who the hell are they? The 
Their power levels are a joke. They're nothing but trash. I guess it's just some Taurus, huh? Well, anyway, we got orders to annihilate everyone on the planet. It wouldn't be much fun if they got away. So let's take care of that spaceship of theirs. Sounds good to me. No! That starship! <laughs> Sucks to be them. Guess that we're in the wrong place at the wrong time. Okay, go on. Feel free to let loose on these guys. They're nothing compared to you. Here goes. Right. Just like the sailors we fought back on Earth. <laughs> what the? What's going on with their power levels? Nice going, Gohan! Nice going? There's nothing nice about this! Uh, Lord Frieza, it seems like those two power sources from before may warrant more of our attention. They raised their power levels almost instantly, and then vanished after defeating two of our scouts. That is indeed strange. I highly doubt it's Vegeta's doing. Correct, my lord. It can't be Vegeta. The sources each have a power level of about 1,500. 1,500, is that right? Hardly anything worthy of our concern, wouldn't you say? They do seem rather unruly. If you happen upon these two, eliminate them. Let us leave Vegeta's destruction to Queen. You hear that, Vegeta? That was a direct order from Lord Frieza. I finally get to kill you. Don't make me laugh, Queen. Do you actually think you can beat me? <laughs> Are you blind, Vegeta? Take a look at your scouter. You'll see my power level is leagues above yours. <laughs> <laughs> well now. <laughs> Queen doesn't seem to realize how much of a threat I am. Good. I'll get rid of that waste of space in no time. <laughs> you must really have a death wish. Coming at me like this? <laughs> You've lost your edge, Vegeta. You don't stand a chance against me with a power level like that. <laughs> don't be disappointed. You're in for a treat. You see, I've managed to learn a little new trick during my time on Earth. <laughs> like what? How to run away? Like how to control my power level. <sighs> Well, this must be some sort of error, but I set my scouter to Vegeta's coordinate, and it's showing a reading of more than 22,000. Did you say 22,000? That's an older model scouter, isn't it? Here, I'll get a more accurate reading with mine. Impossible! It can't be! Is my scouter broken? But it's a newer model! The reading's up to 24,000! <laughs> Are you saying his power level is even beyond ours now? 
<laughs> Die! We're supposed to be equal in power! You fools! I've grown stronger with each battle that I fought! The most recent one on Earth pushed me to the brink of death! Don't think for a second that a pampered peon like you could ever be my equal! Got a gun! Wait, Vegeta. I've got a great idea! We'll help you fight Frieza. We can take him on together. I never really liked him anyway. What did you say? You're so pathetic. You have pissed me off for the last time! You're not going anywhere! <laughs> Dirty fireworks. Vegeta's power level from before! That 24,000 reading, it was real! Oh, I don't believe it! He just took out Queen! I'm hardly surprised at this. How soon you forget, Vegeta is a highly experienced fighter in every right. Not to mention foolish. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't seem to know his error and so brazenly defy me. Lord Frieza, the scouter shows there are about ten Namekians in that direction. Very good. Let's hope they have what I'm looking for. The fifth Dragon Ball. Let's pay them a visit. Away from this place. We're sending ducks out here. We should try to find a place to hide. Maybe in a Namekian house or a cave or something. We'll try to figure something out. I'm, I'm sure the Namekians can help us fix our ship, right? I wish I could be as optimistic as you two. in a creepy place like that. Huh? Grillin, do you sense that power over there? Uh, yeah, I do. But it's not like the others from before. This time it might be Namekian. Huh? Hide! There's some strange energy headed this way. What are you doing, Bulma? Hide! Those guys we beat up earlier weren't alone! Huh? It's them! and check the dragon radar, please? You said four of the Dragon Balls were in one spot, right? Well then, it's possible that those guys... Uh, yeah, that explains it. They have the four Dragon Balls. Yeah, that's what I thought. Go on, did you feel it? it yeah, their power was incredible. Whoa, Th that small guy, he, he might actually be stronger than Vegeta. Whoa, 
Stronger than Vegeta? No way. Cool, man. Wait, how are we supposed to get the Dragon Balls from those guys? Once Master Roshi learned of the situation on Namek from Bulma, he informed Goku right away. Goku, who was eager to help his friends, then asked Dr. Briefs to build him a spaceship. Dr. Briefs modified the ship Goku arrived in as a child and gave it enough power to reach planet Namek in just six days. After bringing himself back up to fighting condition with some Senzu beans, Goku left for Planet Namek. All right, I'm off. I'd better get training with this gravity machine right away. After all, I've only got about six days to get stronger than Vegeta. Hey, you guys! Those creeps from before are heading straight for the Dragon Ball! Uh, hey, that's... Wait a minute. Th that's right back where Krillin thought that the Namekians were approaching us. Okay, I'll head over there and check things out. I'm going to. Uh, wait a second! Huh? Are you just gonna leave me here by myself? Well, it'll be a lot safer for you here. Actually, you might be right. Fine. I'll just open up a capsule home here in the cave and wait for you guys. Go on. Make sure you lower your power as much as possible. Right. Freezer's horrible henchman. <laughs> Namekian villages here? Well, if they are, we need to hurry and find them before it's too late. Go on, you know the deal, right? Yeah. No energy blasts are flying, right? That's right. We have to move undetected. On down there. They look just like Kami and Piccolo. Ah, they must be Namekians! First introductions. I am Frieza. I'm looking for the Dragon Balls. And if I'm not mistaken, I do believe one of them can be found here. We, we don't have anything like that. <laughs> it takes a great deal of courage to lie to me with a power level like yours. Uh, the, that device, that must be how they're able to find what few villages are spread across the planet. Oh, ho, ho, ho. you know the other elders were all too willing to provide me the information I need. W willing? That's impossible. Well, they did require some convincing. Zabon, show how persuasive we can be. Sir. <laughs> Perhaps you understand now. If you insist on being this difficult, those young ones over there will be the next to die. 
they're monsters! How terrible! Well, what do you intend to do with the Dragon Balls? Why, I'll make a wish, of course. Nothing too extravagant, mind you. Just immortality. <sighs> Even if these monsters manage to gather the Dragon Balls, they still might not be able to make their wish. I, I suppose we have no choice, but promise me one thing. Promise me you won't lay a hand on the children. Of course. Mind you, you could have saved yourself all this trouble by doing this sooner. No. Take this and be gone. Well, I have you. Perhaps you can tell me something. Say, the location of the two remaining Dragon Balls. If memory serves, you need seven of them to make a wish, isn't that right? Don't be ridiculous. We Demechians are not in the business of endangering our own kind. And just when I thought you were less foolish than the rest, I suppose I have no other recourse but to kill you and the children. Get out of here, Dende! No! R right! No! Our scouters! Now you won't be able to hunt us down anymore! You're all dead! Those monsters! <laughs> it's not much fun killing small fries like you. But you gotta die sooner or later! What? Who the hell are you? I'm gonna make you pay for what you did! Hey, go on! Even if we take them together, these guys are way out of our league! You little... what? Go on, we gotta catch them off guard, then run! Uh oh Gohan has completely lost it! Your jets go on! Now's our chance! Hurry! Huh? Right! After them, Dodoria! Don't let them get away! Punch it, Gohan! If he catches us, we're goners! Right! No use! They're faster than us! He's gaining! Wait, that's right! Here, Gohan, take the kid! Okay! Don't look directly at me! Take this! Solar Flare! My eyes! I can't see! All right, it worked! Go on, hide! What? Oh, wait! You little twerps! Where the hell you go? Uh. <sighs> We're safe! All right. We need to head back to Bulma fast. Hey, can you fly? Oh, uh, um, yes. Th thank you for saving me. So, um, what's your name? I'm Dende. <laughs> Hmm? One of Frieza's goons is on the move. This energy... Is that Tadoria? This is perfect. I can more than handle him all by myself.
Taking on Frieza now would be downright suicidal. I have to plan my next moves carefully. <laughs> Easy prey. Vegeta! Hey there! It's been quite some time, Dodoria. I've waited for you to foolishly leave Frieza's side. Knocking you around should be easy enough without Frieza here. You think you're hot stuff, don't you? Do yourself a favor. Shut up and just hand over that scouter of yours. Do that and I'll let you live just this once. <laughs> Is that so? You went completely radio silent during your attack on the Namekian village, which can obviously mean only one thing. You've lost every single one of your scouters, haven't you? <laughs> How perfect! Now I can make my way over there unnoticed. You want this, don't you? I guess you're not as dumb as you look, Vegeta. <laughs> What are you doing? Why did you break it? You idiot! Don't you realize you're not going to be able to find the Namekians without it? I recently spent some time on a planet called Earth. Believe it or not, they don't require scouters in order to sense power. There was another Saiyan there as well, and he also knew how to use that technique. Which means an elite like myself should easily master it. That's it then, isn't it? Those little runts I was after, they were Earthlings. What are you doing, teaming up with those punks? What Earthlings? What the hell are you talking about? There's no way Earthlings could be out here. Enough of this nonsense. Stop wasting time and come at me already. I see what's going on here. You've come to realize just how much stronger I've gotten, and now you're too afraid to fight me. You saw my power level on your scouter before, didn't you? That number wasn't accurate. My scouter was busted. What are you so afraid of? Go on, try and attack me. Who do you think you are? You're not better than me. <laughs> we Saiyans grow stronger in every battle we fight. The stronger the opponent is, the stronger we become after the fight. My near-death experience on Earth greatly increased my power! Now I'm pissed! That's what it means to be a mighty Saiyan warrior! Got a gun! Believe it! Got a gun! you in on a little secret, but it ain't so little. It's a big one. It's about the home of your people. It's about planet Vegeta. What? What is it? Spit it out. You've probably heard all this before. How planet Vegeta was destroyed by some huge meteor, right? But that's not the truth. What happened is a bunch of crazy strong Saiyans like yourself started cropping up all over the place. And the more powerful they got, the more they didn't see the point in following orders from anybody. Lord Frieza lost trust in you guys, and because of that, he felt he needed to lay down the law. And oh, did he! Lord Frieza ended up not just destroying planet Vegeta, but every single Saiyan himself. 
But you know, Vegeta, you should be grateful. Lord Frieza saw a lot of potential in you, too much to waste. So he made sure to destroy the planet when you weren't there. <laughs> <laughs> I bet that was a lot to take in, huh? You're wrong about that, Dodoria. I couldn't care less about my planet, my comrades, or even my parents. But what infuriates me to no end is how I let myself be used all this time by bastards like you! Thinking about it makes me sick to my stomach! <laughs> you good reason! Frieza's terrified of the limitless potential of a Saiyan's power. If what I heard on the Scouter is to be believed, then all seven Dragon Balls are needed in order to make a wish come true. First, I'll get my hands on the two remaining Dragon Balls. No, one should be more than sufficient. If I can hide even just one of them, Frieza and his lackeys won't be able to make their wish a reality. Ha! Then all I have to do is wait until their guard is down and steal the rest of them. <sighs> We're finally back. Well, you guys certainly took your time, didn't you? <laughs> uh, took your time. <laughs> huh? Uh, who's the pocket-sized Piccolo? Oh, he's Namekian, isn't he? What's your name, little guy? Y yes my name is Dende. Huh. It looks like you guys have been through a lot. Oh, yeah, that's right! I've got great news from my dad! Really? That's great! Goku's on his way here as we speak! He should arrive in about... Mm, six days! And I hear he's toughening himself up! My... my dad's coming? Hooray! Yahoo! Six days remained until Goku would arrive on Planet Nemec. Goku! Can you hear me, Goku? Wait. Huh? Where are you? Are you in space? Oh, that's right! You're heading to Namek. Could not find the Dragon Balls! Wait a minute. You mean you don't know what's going on? There's some crazy stuff going down on Namek. Crazy stuff? Well, we can talk about that later. I've actually got some guests here with me. In fact, it's for people you know quite well. Wait, wait, you don't mean... They've asked me to train them even harder than I trained you. Hey, Goku, you hear me? We met up with Kami in the other world, and he told us all about this place. You said there's four of them there, right? So that's Yamcha, Tien... Wait, is Piccolo there too? <laughs> I'm not about to let you be the only one that gets stronger in all of this. Chaozu's here with us too! Kami pulled some strings and let us have our bodies back so we can train here. Pretty cool of him, huh? That's awesome! Glad to hear it! <laughs> I'm doing a bit of training myself on the way to Namek. I had my spaceship customized to simulate a hundred times gravity for some extra intense training. 
But if I don't get stronger in the next five days, I'm going to be in some pretty big trouble. You mentioned that before. What exactly is going to happen? What? What? Whoa, hold on. You mean there's someone out there that's stronger than Vegeta? Wait, you're not talking about Frieza, are you? Beats me. I didn't hear anything about a Frieza. You know him, King Kai? L listen, Goku. If it's actually Frieza, then stay far away from him! Get on his bad side and you're begging for trouble! I'm telling you, not just for your own safety, but for the safety of Earth, Namek, and every other planet in the universe! Is, is he really that strong? I kind of want to meet him now. Do not go anywhere near him! You hear me? I'm looking for some sort of elder. I'm here to retrieve the Dragon Ball. <laughs> Battle for the Dragon Ball. bunch of energy just started disappearing. Really? M more Namekians are being killed! And the one doing the killing has a very familiar energy. It's Vegeta! Now it's not just Frieza we gotta worry about wishing for immortality, but Vegeta too! If we can find one of the Dragon Balls and hide it, Neither of them will be able to make their wish. But... but they'll just continue killing Namekians until they find all the Dragon Balls! N no uh, Who are you people? Where did you come from? And how do you know about the Dragon Balls? Please, if you can, save my people! Yeah, about that. Well, if you already know, I think... I think I understand what's going on now. Come on, follow me. I'll take you to see Grand Elder Guru. Huh? Uh... Grand Elder Guru? Why are we headed there? Those monsters that attacked our villages already have four Dragon Balls. Not only that, didn't you say that... There are more people being killed over there? Uh, yeah. I think I know who did it. Vegeta. Th their energy... It's all gone! There's no one left! Th then... Then that means there aren't many Namekians left on this planet. Ugh. Oh, man. Even if we find the Dragon Ball in the village that Vegeta attacked, that still leaves one! Wait, does Grand Elder Guru have the last Dragon Ball? Y yes Not good! If Vegeta reaches him before us, he'll get his hands on the seventh Dragon Ball! We have to hurry and let Guru know! I'll go with Dende. Gohan and Bulma, you two wait here. There's no point in all of us going, okay? R right! Be careful, you guys! <laughs> so this must be a Dragon Ball. Fascinating. It must be kept safe. Time to hide it. No one could possibly find it as long as it remains at the bottom of this lake. If it's true that Frieza and his worms have five, that means just one is left out there. <laughs> this power... It's Zarbon. I'm sure of it. <laughs> it would appear that he's finally off that leash of his. 
He'll be joining Dodoria soon enough in hell. <laughs>